see that? The rear wheel. Uh, it's not meant to be like that. So the whole rear wheel moves. just found this out like a couple minutes ago so I'm on my way to Moto Hub and Castle Hill Sydney <laughs> one of the main things I don't want to happen on this bike too man once my chain goes the bike goes that's pretty much it man oh, pain in the ass but get it sorted and I gotta open my gate Good morning. Yeah, so I was cleaning my bike, mate, and bloody found that little issue. It really, really sucks. This is one of the most important things of why I like to clean my bike. I do like a full detail every once a week. Small things like this, well, in this case, it's sort of like a big deal because, like I said, if my chain goes, my bike goes. If you guys own motorcycles yourselves, then, you know, it's a, I highly recommend that you guys give it like a good detail clean at least once a week you know so that way you can find out small issues like this like i found out that my brakes are slightly warped this bike has been in a low side situation um on the right side so i know my right disc my front is warped my rear i'm not too sure but it makes that squeaky noise after even after i change the pads and stuff like that there's um a few more things as well but i'm not going to really discuss it but yeah it's one of the most important things you do is to at least check your bike once a week i i always do it and i can feel my rear yeah like something's not right on this bike but I can feel it. So I'm a little OCD when it comes to these things. If I see a problem, I like to try and fix it as soon as possible. So that way everything's squared away. Something like this, I don't have the tool for it. And my entire rear wheel shakes. Absolutely shakes. I'll answer you later. It's not a good thing. So I have to, I really have to get this thing sorted. I found out after I detailed the bike, well, slightly detailed. And this is why I like to do it. I, I get into every nook and cranny to find out exactly what's going on around the bike. You know, I, when I'm cleaning, I feel for things, make sure everything's in nick, you know, top condition. And that way I know, you know, if there's, a, if there's gonna be a problem or if the bike's good to go when I'm out on the road. <sighs> MTA 9 I miss that thing. I absolutely love cleaning my bikes, but man, I hate finding things like this. I also need new tires too. It's only just hit the trend wear, so I need to get that sorted as well. So I'm looking around probably $2,000 worth of repairs on this thing. Like, it's not that bad, but most of it I can do myself, but most of my tools are at the Gold Coast. The one thing I don't have is a chain adjuster for this bike. I need a paddock stand, I need a front paddock stand, you know, just... Uh, everything that I have, like all my all my tools and equipment, is all in the GC. I swear I can feel my back wriggle around a little bit. Like it is that loose. It's literally that loose. I can shake and wobble my wheel. <laughs> problem after a problem. Good old Super Duke here. It's gonna need a little bit of work. I'm also a bit iffy when it comes to mechanics, you know. I like I only trust the people that I know. Um, but Moto Hub seems to look legit. I've, I looked at their ratings, mate, and it's got like four and a half stars, so it seems to be pretty good. All made on the MG9 SP. That is how crappy I am with tools. So if you guys ever see me with a power tool, <laughs> uh, God help me. Oh, look at that, look at that, look how crazy that is, man. The guy's like riding on the highway. Even I wouldn't do it, because I'm a little bit. Oh.
uh, yeah, I got a little bit more problems than I thought. Yeah, so I'm 80, uh, adjusts my chain for me, which is nice. Uh, it didn't charge me for it. I got, I got another issue. Apparently one of the wheel bearings are gone. So, thank you, sir. And um, yeah, dude, it is not good. Not good, because my rear wheel, like it, like how I mentioned before, it moves around a little bit. So, yeah, I need to really get that fixed. Ugh. It's like problem after problem with this bike. It works, but it's just one of those things where you wanna, you wanna get it fixed. I wanna get it all done at once, but it's a bit costly. Like most of the stuff I can do, I just need my tools. So I don't know how much these parts are, but they need the bike for another day. I gotta, I gotta bring it in on the Ute. big one so I hope everything goes well because I don't really want to you know give this bike up because my next alternative would be an MT-10 the Yamaha MT-10 like I was gonna get one but you know I like I like this bike in general because it's top of the range it does the job perfectly like I can still feel it like as I come on and off my rear or my tail of the bike is shimmies out a little bit so imagine taking corners off of the mountains and having that happen oh. I've been riding around with it for a week. All oh, mate, you said I shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> well, I do have choices, but I'll make bad ones. Uh, I sound a little bit like crap because it is like eight o'clock in the morning. So I'm on my way to Moto Hub, um, get these issues sorted. So I'm getting new tires, hopefully new wheel bearings. Uh, see what other issues I can sort out. Like I've got a few things that came with the bike. It's not the bike's fault. The previous owner low sided this bike. I don't think he told my guy he bought the bike for me about it. Because obviously, you know, they want to get rid of the bike. And also possibly, possibly hence why it's low price. I, I wish the owner would have fixed these things, but oh well man, I mean like I got the bike for 12 and a half. Like I got it, it still runs fine, but just got a couple of issues which I can sort out. Well, I do have choices, but I'll make bad ones. Uh... I don't know, I'm, I'm probably not gonna talk much right now because like I said, I. I'm not gonna lie, I honestly woke up like an hour ago. Uh, it's, it's a Saturday, I didn't expect to be doing too much. I've been working all week, and I'm not trying to complain, but like, I'll, I'll do things for you guys, but it's just, just on the mood right now, you know. I'll talk when I can, but uh, sorry again, sorry if I'm not up for just motor vlogging as of right now. It's just, uh, don't hate me. Don't unsubscribe, please. I love you guys. It's up to you guys if you want to subscribe. I'm not going to stop you. Just know I love you. Not physically, though. We'll get a uh, restraining order put against me. So I arrived early. Um, uh, I'm just gonna play a couple of video games. 
Haha, <laughs> three stars, first try. Oh, come on, come on. I, oh, I double tap, man. This is a violent game. <laughs> Pew. I'm getting good at this. Oh, TNT. It's very, very tippy. <laughs> oh, I'm just so glad to have it back. Um, hang on, we need to go to navigation. Oh, it's so good to have it back, but oh my gosh, it's so bloody weird to go. I can't even see through your tinted window, so. Come on. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> People are so nice every now and then, but. Yeah, you get this view. I'm just so happy I got my baby back. I don't want to scream. It's been one week and four days, I think. It's so good to have you back, but it's so weird. So I put on Metzler M7 Double R's because my mates recommended it. And then there's one other one, which is what's called the Pearly Angel GT. I'd use that, but it will not give me the grip that I need especially when I get back onto the Gold Coast, if I need to still use the tyres. I practically wanted a tyre that has a little bit more grip than longevity, So, but I still wanted that longevity, so the tire, when I do go back up to the Gold Coast, the tyre will survive. Hello officers, we are not doing anything naughty. What's a smile on my face, dude? Ah, oh, it's a gorgeous fly. I missed you. I miss you, baby girl. Really, really did. A week felt like a month. And to top it off with those extra four days, man, it felt like forever. And there's a military helicopter. I don't, you can't see it, but I can. It looks to be a UH-60 Blackhawk. There's all variation of them, but yeah. Dude, Black Hawk helicopters are my absolute favorite and actually just getting to see one in person. Oh, yeah, boys. <laughs> see, and earlier today I saw a, uh, let's say, MH-53 Pavlo, I think it's called. Practically, it's a cargo type helicopter. You know, it's a large military personnel carrier for a helicopter. I don't know what they class it. Anyways, <laughs> if I had to choose one helicopter to fly, it'd be the Pavlo. A lot of people remember from Call of Duty, but uh, I try to call it what it is. 